Hey guys, this is going to be part two of my Super Scope review. Um, this, I'm going to show two gameplays, uh, two games, <clears throat> the first of which is be, is going to be Super Scope 6. Now, Super Scope 6 is the game that comes packaged in with the Super Scope. It has six games in it. Um, so I'm going it, it, it to, sort of, it's sort of like Wii Sports. It gives you, uh, acquaintance with the, with the, all the technology. So let's go ahead and try this one out. Here is an accuracy test screen. Each game I've played has this uh, feature, so. Hmm. What is the deal here? It's not letting me... Oh, okay. One problem with this is that you need to have a clear sight to the top of your TV, which I have a problem with here. Now here it's just pretty much like whack-a-mole, except it's like shoot-a-mole, I guess. I am not using the scope right now because it will be too difficult. Okay, so that's level one. Now, basically, all this game is is um a, a just a showmanship of um of the super scope. It just gets you acquainted with it. And it's not until other games that you'll actually get to use the Super Scope full on. So let's show you one of those now. And the first game we'll be doing is, if you can see, what you can't, is Yoshi's Safari. So in the bottom right hand corner it says turbo on, which means you need to have the turbo turned on. Let's skip that. Again, another accuracy screen. Whoa, that wasn't right. This one's cool because it's it doesn't act much like a bazooka, but more like a uh, more like a machine gun because you fire automatically. All right, here you go. It's it's interesting. It's a first person perspective, it's a sort of more third person, I guess. But wow, this is difficult sitting down like this.
So basically what you have here is just a sort of standard issue game. It's very, it's pretty fun. The only problem I'm facing is that um, because I'm in such an enclosed area, it's difficult to play. So um, overall, you know, the games are good. The Super Scope is just like I stated before, just sort of like a test game. And uh, if you're going to, if you're going to really appreciate the Super Scope, you're going to have to get other games for it. And this is one that I would recommend. So that's it for the gameplay footage. And um, now I'm going to give you my final thoughts. Okay, guys. So this is my final. Th these are my final thoughts for the Super Scope. Overall, it's a pretty good gun for the Super Nintendo. Um, it's not the only gun. There's also the Justifier for lethal enforcers. Um, but if you want to play games like Yoshi Safari, you'll need the Super Scope. Now, in terms of price, it's relatively cheap. Um, I got this whole combo in the box with six games for about $35. Um, uh, one thing I need to mention that I didn't mention before, this gun is wireless, so therefore it runs on batteries. Six double A's in fact. Um, and I have not run out yet, I haven't used it thoroughly, but the battery life seems to be decent. Um, so here's what I'm going to suggest, if you are a fan of the Super Nintendo and you're looking to expand your library, sure, this opens up a few more uh, games um, to you. But if you're just a casual gamer, I can't say it's a must-have, but it could be fun to get. It could add a new level of play, um, especially with other games. Um, there's so many types of games you can have with these guns. Um, the only... my Here are my complaints, though. It shouldn't be a bazooka, it should be more like an automatic, that would be different, yet comfortable and fitting, which it could also have a scope being that way too. Um, the whole not working on LCDs is a bit of a bummer, but whatever, and it's sort of clunkiness. It just sort of seems to get in the way a lot, whereas like this it wouldn't as much. So, um, overall I'm going to say... Only if you are a game collector should you look into really look into getting one of these. Um, otherwise, you know, if you see a good deal on one, go ahead and pick it up. But um, it's a unique piece of Nintendo Nintendo wow Nintendo history. Um, it's just not one of their bright spots. But that doesn't make it bad either. I mean, it's no it's not as bad as the Power Glove, so don't get me wrong. Uh, overall, it's pretty good. Uh, so give it a try if you're a collector. And even if you want to give it a try, I'm not gonna say don't. But um, just be aware that you might encounter some things that you're not going to like. So this is Cobra, and uh, thanks for watching.